Did you know that in Redshift for Cinema 4D there is a simple and flexible way to prevent visible tiling of textures? Photobase textures are a proven way to give surfaces a naturalistic look. This is especially the case when it comes to textures that are based on 3D scans and therefore cover different aspects of a material such as roughness, normals, albedo, etc. One of the best known vendors in this field is Quixel Megascans. However, photo or scan-based textures always represent a certain square meter area of a real surface. Therefore, they look most realistic when they are applied to an object in approximately this size. In this example scene, I have applied a relatively small gravel texture to a large perspective tapered surface. In such a case, texture repetitions quickly become visible and prevent a realistic result. So it is a good idea to hide these repetitions with a two-step procedure. The first step is to extend a photo texture with procedural shaders and the second step is to break up the actual texture repetitions. This procedure will work with onboard tools only and can thus be recreated by anyone. Let's jump right in. First, it's about enhancing the used photo texture and creating a variation just by that. We do this by overlaying the texture inside a color layer node with a noise shader node. For this, we use a large scale NACI noise and plug it into layer 1. As layer mode, we choose screen. This Naki noise is then masked by another large-scale noise, this time a Luca noise. Then, in layer 2, there's another Naki noise, but with a different seat, different colors and in multiply mode. With these two noise layers alone, we already bring a good amount of variation to the game, independent from the dimensions of the texture tiles. Then, in a second step, we break up the actual tiling of the photo textures involved. For this, we have to use a copy of the node setup shown so far. In this copy, we go to the texture nodes involved, vary the scale x value to minus 1, and thus create a horizontally mirrored variation of these textures. We then merge the node trees of both materials into one material blender node. There, we mask the second material with a large-scale turbulence noise. As a final result, two different materials masked by a noise lie on top of each other and thus form a composite material that's richer and more diverse than the sum of its parts. This procedure can of course be extended by further varied materials added to the material blender node. By the way, as a visual trick for avoiding visible texture repetitions, the effect of cast shadows should also be mentioned at this point. These shadows naturally provide visual variation. Please have a look at the finished project, Liebherr Innovative Drive Technologies, via the link below. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and don't miss the next episode of Did You Know Ratchet for Cinema 4D every Wednesday on this channel.